Hello. Just give me a second. So, so this is chapter 14 of the Baku X Hawk Sister Listener series. I'm so sorry for not reading more more of this fanfiction. I was supposed to, but then I got caught up in like making fan requests videos and I just kind of forgot about it. But it's back. Chapter 14. Arriving at USJ. Written by Crimson underscore A. On Wattpad. Link in the description below. Hello everyone. I've been waiting for you. 13 spoke in a robotic yet cheerful tone. You all stood together while some of the others stared at her with amusement and enchantment. Asuka went about the space pro hero into them wanted to show us, show you all inside. Walking inside, you were blown away to see various of different areas and disasters. It looks like some kind of amusement park, Kishima said while he stood next to you. Yes, 13. What are all these disasters? She noted your question and answered, A chipwreck, a landslide, a fire, a fire, a windstorm, and Sentra. She cheered with pride and heard in her mechanical voice. I prepared this training effectively to repair, prepare you to deal with all types of disasters. I call it... She passed for a dramatic effect that class waited in anticipation. The Enforcing Simulator Joint. We can call it the USJ. They spoke exuatically, which you couldn't help but giggle at. When Tessa walked up to the 13 with his hands in his pockets, looking over his shoulder at the class. Hey, shouldn't Alma be here already? Let me guess. He booked an interview and said he spoke poorly. 13 then whispered something to him. You gotta hear it though. Man, the man is the height of irresponsibility. The man said confidently, while shaking his head slightly. Oh please, have, have you met my brother? He mentally questioned, while rolling your eyes. You can't steal this distinctly with remembering how your brother threw you off a building once you lean you could once you could learn his awesome flying technique you were only five old years then i saw and said insisted we start without all might excellent excellent before we begin let me just say one thing well maybe two things possibly Possibly three or four or thirteen continued to ramble as you in the class hung your head in boredom. She raised her hand when she was done rambling and said, Listen carefully. I'm sure you are aware that I have a powerful quirk. It's called black hole. I can use it to suck up anything and turn it into dust. You were intrigued and piped in. Yeah, you used black hole to save people from all kinds of disasters, haven't you? Your eyes were sparkling with curiosity. That's true. My quirk can also be used to kill. Everyone froze. Some of you may also have have powers that can be dangerous. She started to explain about some random stuff. While your mind drifted. While your mind drifted. My quirk isn't dangerous. Is it? I mean, sharpened feathers can only cut certain materials. Let alone kill someone? What do I make a mistake? What if I accidentally hurt someone? You question mentally, as negative thoughts ran wild inside your imagination. Thirteen finished her motivational speech as you snapped back to reality. Okay, time to focus. You th okay, time to focus. Your thoughts were scattered short when the light started to flicker. The, s the center water fountain was malfunctioning, and in the blink of an eye, a dark swirled portal formed in front of it. Looking into your parapulsal, you saw Mr. Sawa's eyes widen as he slowly turned around. You haven't seen him like this since he was surprised by, since he was surprised by, attacked by villains on TV, you saw two years ago. Wait. The portal formed dark mist in which a pale, bony hand struck out of. Looking closer, they are real villains. He had been training by Kegel, in case he wouldn't be home. 
You needed to defend yourself from a villain situation, so you knew what to do. Sit together and don't move. Thirteen. Thir sit together and don't move. Thirteen protected students. Mr. Sao said, "We'll get into a fight in this dance. We are about to intervene when Kishima spoke up, looking in the set. Wait, has the training already begun? I thought we were supposed to rescue people. More and more villains were approaching quickly. We needed to intervene, or they would have had no cho chance of winning. We ran up to Mr. Sawa's side as everyone looked at, looked at you with confusion. When I can't let you... Cutting him off, you put a hand on his shoulder. I can help you, and you know I can. He said firmly, with no trace of hesitation in your voice. What are you doing? Are you following my member? I'm going to... Are you getting an extra point for helping? Your classmates bombarded you with questions. With an Aryan nod from Mr. Sawa, you turned to face them. While extending your wings to full size. This is real, those are real villains. You exclaimed as everyone soon came to realization. A hand covering a hand covered guy stood next to the monster looking creature that had exposed brains and the intents of a portal, which ascended in a long line. What the hell is Wayan helping you? Familiar voice call out. But Katsuki's voice had a hint of fear in it. The situation at hand. Or for you? I'll explain later. You shouted back as you and the two pros got out of shock got out of shock from the events and got into battle mode. Let's do this. That was the fanfiction. So, let me guys know if you guys want me to continue it. I like the series, like, a lot. And there's still a, a good amount of parts left. So let me know if you guys want me to continue. Have a great day, night or afternoon. See you guys tomorrow. Next video. Bye.